mobilize true and international suffrage of pressure. I'll lead an effective strategy to mobilize Schuller, Mala, Mazon, La Prada. I listened to this quote. I've probably listened to it now 50 times. I think at least some of what he's saying is true, true something, international pressure. Can we play that again? Can we go back to that other? True, Mala, Mazon, La Prada. I'll lead an effective strategy to mobilize true and international suffrage of pressure. So there are t too many syllables, obviously, in there, but I think what he's trying to get at is true international pressure. But I don't think he's going to mobilize true international pressure. I don't think that anybody is going to pay him any heed at all because his brain is pudding. I, I know it's sort of sad to say that, but the man is past his sell-by date, folks. And so when you vote for him, I can't feel too... Sometimes I say, oh, I feel bad for Joe. I don't feel bad for Joe. I don't feel bad for guys who sue nuns because they won't pay for abortions. I don't feel bad for that. I don't, I don't feel bad for guys who have lied through their teeth for 50 years in government and who have engaged in corrupt deals in Ukraine and China, apparently. I don't feel bad for guys who may become the president of the United States. I think we shouldn't feel bad for that guy at all. I think we should feel bad for us if he gets elected. Because that, that guy's not even going to be the president. That guy is going to go, he's going to lie in bed and play Tetris all day. And either Kamala Harris or more likely the bureaucracy is going to take over. Maybe it was just a gaffe. Maybe it's just his childhood stutter that disappeared for 60 years, but then somehow came back all of a sudden, and we have to pretend that it's a childhood stutter when it's obviously not. It's obviously decline. Well, we got another one of these examples. Uh, again, uh, this one, I, I don't think there's any chance we're going to figure it out, but but Joe Biden is very focused on the importance of... Yep. It also holds pollute Okay, so there, you do get at least the one word, which is polluters. He is, he is saying polluters there, but there are all these extra syllables all around, and then everything slurs at the back end of this. Joe Biden is obviously exhausted. The, these incidents have gotten worse by the end of the campaign than they were at the beginning. Now, don't forget it. For much of the campaign, Joe Biden has been hiding in his basement, so you haven't gotten to see many of these. Why did the Biden campaign choose to hide him in his basement? They used coronavirus as an excuse, but that obviously was simply an excuse because they didn't want these moments because they have seen him and they interact with him, and they know that the man is obviously in cognitive decline, and he doesn't have any stamina. I get it. Campaigns are really exhausting. I've been on a lot of campaigns, and I've been on campaigns since I was 19 years old. And even when I was 19 years old, I was exhausted doing them because you're working 20 hours a day for 18 months at a time. So I get it. But if you get tired from doing a modest number of campaign events like Joe Biden is doing, how on earth are you going to stand up to the pressures of being president? You can't do it. It is not possible. And he won't. Even if, and I hope it doesn't happen, but even if he does get elected president, Joe Biden is not going to be a particularly hands-on president. Other people are going to do the job for him. And unfortunately, the, the establishment that, that he is empowering, and the groups that he is empowering, are socialists. Radicals. Wow, that was people horrible. People don't want equality of opportunity. They want equality of outcome. They will go in, they will take your money, they will redistribute it, they will institute a new American caste system that discriminates on the basis of race and sex. They are already doing that, and they are explicitly promising to do it. That's what you're going to get with Joe Biden. And some people are endorsing him, somehow. I hope you enjoyed that short... All right, let's see if it was any good. Probably not. Eh, still not good. I got 100% one, so this one ain't that great.